Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party. With all the brouhaha over the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire being banned from participation in the congressional and gubernatorial debates, here's this. Basically, by way of background, New Hampshire's main government-licensed TV station, WMUR, you know, people feel they have basically a monopoly on these debates. And instead of allowing, you know, people to debate who are, oh, I don't know, on the ballot, they've developed this page-long list of qualifications that uh, you must have, or you're not turtly enough for the turtle club. I don't know where they get the time to come up with all these when you could just, you know, go with the ballot. Anyway, here's me in, in a letter to them. Quote, this message is for your news director. I understand that's currently Alicia McDevitt, but I couldn't confirm this. Freekeen.com is reporting. You have required candidates from the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire to achieve certain results in polls in order to be in your debates. But they say no polls have included the LP, make it in, making it impossible for them to qualify. To what extent is this true? To what extent, if any, are you under threats or financial pressure of some kind designed to make you limit your debate to only establishment party candidates that are on the ballot? To what extent, if any, is Adam Stexton under threat of termination by you as a result of this report? his reported attempt to include or assure inclusion by the LP in the debate. To what extent is your position on the debate question influenced by your dependence on a government license in order to broadcast the news? Does this licensing have a chilling effect on your ability to include viewpoints that defy the established powers who issue the license? Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com CC in its general discussion. As I just read, that was th about 36 hours ago I sent that. I, I haven't received a response, but again, it's only been 36 hours. Also, by way of background, Adam Sexton is one of their reporters, and he was, I guess, mentioned like, either in an alternate media outlet or a mainstream media outlet as having said, having said they would be included. And then apparently, reportedly, the news director publicly contradicted him and it sort of sounded like she was publicly scolding him for saying that. She said he reportedly said he didn't have the authority to make that decision. That is all. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.